there's somebody, oh, I better hold this closer. I can't read <laughs> or I'll have to, I'll have to put my glasses on. I'm going to be squ squinting at you guys to be able to read what's on my little phone screen. Hi, Michelle. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. This is going to be fun. I hope. Hi, Carolyn. Yay. Carolyn is in the house. We can start. Let me get you positioned here so you're looking at some pretties, plus all the stuff all over the floor. Good morning, Nara. <laughs> oh, thank you, Carolyn. I know I'm late, Teal. I said to Mike, I said, oh, it's after 10. Oh, well. <laughs> no, Friday is stitch with me. This is floss tube. Anne is in the house, too. Yes, if you guys wouldn't mind, put your, um, put your things on all caps. Of course it's morning. It's only 10, 10, Anne. Duh. In the middle of the Pacific, it's 10 in the morning. Put your, um, put your keyboards on all caps for me so I can read you better. I would really appreciate it. My little eyes, my morning eyes, my old eyes. I don't even know where the camera is at this point. Am I looking at the camera at all? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go, guys. Um, I'm sure there are going to be some comments and questions that I miss. Morning, Jamie. No, my morning isn't your morning, but you know, my morning is my morning. So <laughs> I'm going to say good morning. Hi, Nicole. And yes, it is your morning too, albeit a day ahead. Yay, Amy. Welcome. Awesome. So you're just holding it down? Oh, Anne, you need to like get into the 21st century. <laughs> no, good morning. It's only 10 o'clock here. So, guys, um, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm sure there will be, when I'm showing you stuff, there will be some things that I miss when you're, you know, asking me questions or whatever. Don't hesitate to ask again. Um, <laughs> I hate your keyboard, too. 21st century, Ann. Um, Amazon is your friend. Amazon is our friend. Um... <laughs> well it's about let's see morning loretta let's see nara it is about 9 a.m for you guys on wednesday right <laughs> yeah turn off talking dead we stopped watching walking dead away a while ago oh yeah and look for that in the mail pretty soon good morning fran how are you this morning Oh, did it, Nicole? A a excellent. Be sure and show us a picture of what you got. That was the monthly package, right? Yeah, I decided I'm going to try the Floss Tube Live. Morning, Lou. Okay, so yeah, you're a little bit ahead of us. Lovely 70 degrees. <laughs> Good idea, Ann. Um, morning, Sandy. Um, yeah, it's cloudy and 73 here. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. So, February. So yeah, be sure and show us a picture of that. After three for Loretta. I know, time is a very strange thing. You get used to it. Living out here, I'm constantly calculating what it is in the rest of the world. Good morning, Daphne. It is not bad. Um, you know, we are healthy. And that is, hey, Kelly. Kathy, sorry, see, I can't read. I need to move you closer, but then I'll be really close to you guys. Ooh, there, how's that? Um, yeah, living out here in the middle of the Pacific, I'm constantly calculating what it is in the rest of the country. It, it's what it is. So, um, morning. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I know what I wanted to say. Um, because I'm doing this live, right? I need internet connection on my phone. Let's hope a phone call doesn't come in because I think if a phone call comes in, you'll go bye-bye. So, Teal, yay! What new, t what new skill did you learn, Teal? How to put on caps lock? <laughs> That's awesome. It's a great way to start the day or afternoon as Ann insists on telling me. Um, 
Yeah, so if I go bye-bye, it's because a phone call came in. Hopefully I can deny it. I don't get that many phone calls. If it is, it's spam. We're still on the Maryland rolls for voting, and so I get a ton of spam calls from Maryland. Um, I don't pay attention to them. They actually don't come through. Everything gets blocked anyway, but I see that I have all these phone calls. Anyway, that's where we are. So Mike and I are doing well. Um, we're, what, going on three weeks for the kind of lockdown, although Hawaii State just did, started their lockdown two, three days ago, their official full state lockdown. Um, <laughs> oh, Carolyn, you're mean. <laughs> That's just mean. Um, just yesterday, oh, excellent, Teal, this is a skill you needed. Um, just yesterday, they decreed that any inner island travel that happens, people have to go into 14, um, uh, mandatory 14 day shutdown. Um, so things are, things are tightening up definitely. We heard this morning from a friend that the police are starting to issue tickets if you are out on the road without any real reason to be out on the road. Um, for the most part, we're getting everything delivered. Did have to go to Walgreens to pick up a prescription. Um, to the vet to get more insulin for Sasha, those kind of things. But we're sanitizing, sanitizing, sanitizing. And I hope you guys are too. I hope you're staying home. I hope you're staying well. Um, we're just still on the leading edge of this. And I have to admit, I'm starting to get a little antsy. Um, yesterday, let's see, Color and Cotton had grab bags, packs of five bags of floss. Um, and I think they were like one-off colors, things that maybe that she wasn't real happy with the dyeing of. So she had um, grab bags. I bought two of those. Um, and then I went to Kitten Stitcher and bought pretty much all the other market patterns that I'd had my eye on. Um, the only one I wasn't able to get was the Brenda Gervais Token of Love one. That one was out of stock on her site. Although I did not get... Um, yeah, oh, Nicole, that's very sweet of you. I'm sure that was very much appreciated. Um, I haven't gotten the Blackbird Designs new book yet. I do want to get that yet, but um, yeah. So I had a little shopping spree yesterday. Oh, and Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, what did you miss, Jamie? Heaven and Earth Designs is having a sale 50% off on all of their patterns. Um, I don't know whether it's hard copy or just PDF. I only get PDF, so I don't really pay attention to the hard copy. Um, but they are having 50% off sale until, I think, April 3rd. I have, oh, excellent, Michelle. Um, I have two of their patterns in my, <laughs> I beat you to it, Carolyn. Um, in my cart. So, and what have you got, Carolyn? Did you get anything yet? Um, I know, Amy. Well, you know, what do we say? We're the smart ones now. I don't know what I would do without a craft to do. If I were just one of these people that just, you know, sit and read magazines and watch TV, I would be going bonkers. I just, I can't imagine. You bet. Oh, and, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll remind me later whenever I'm showing stash um, I'll see if I can bring up a picture of my card I haven't bought them yet like I said um, and show you what's in there or at least read the titles um, <laughs> staying far away Nara um, I don't really need any more heaven and earth designs oh my goodness I have enough of my own I know, I, Amy, I, I couldn't handle it. I just couldn't. Um, so let's see. Yeah, I think that's all life update stuff. As far as I know, um, my boys are fine. Samuel is working on getting some unemployment. Ben is actually working on and off at the restaurant he works at. They're having the workers come in and do like cleaning and painting. I think all the little odd jobs that, that business has put off. They're probably gonna do that for as long as possible. So it's not like he's bringing in a lot, but at least he's bringing in something. And as far as I know, my in-laws are doing fine. So, <laughs> I know, I know, 
it'll take a lifetime. And Anne, I'm still thinking about the hot air balloon, my hot air balloon design because of you. Oh, which one did you get, Amy? Yeah, Mike's books are good to pass the time, but you can join his 2 a.m. book club. And those are all the people that can't go to sleep because they keep reading and reading. It, they're all page turners. So let's see, what have I been working on? Oh, first contact. Oh, you have a, a long journey ahead of you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them all. I do. There, you know, I'm not that kind of a sci-fi fan too much. Um, <laughs> that's awesome, Teal. <laughs> Take pictures of that and let us know what your hubby thinks of that too. Um, Hi, Jane. Oh, yay. Hi, Jane. Jane in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, I'm not as much of a sci-fi fan of the type he writes, but of course I love his books. Um, let's see, what else is going on? We've started a little garden, a little hydroponic garden. We have two little tiny sprouts, just like that big that just came up. So it's the little things in life, right? <laughs> Literally. All right. Um, I am working on a new design. I decided not to bring that and show that to you um, today. There's been some tweaking that I've had to do, thanks to Maria. She gave me some ideas for different things that I've kind of redone. Maria Kutzner, my friend in um, Dallas. And I'm surprised she's not on here. I will have to yell at her. Um, yet, she may appear. So other than that, I don't think I worked any more on Shades of Gold since my Stitch With Me but I know not everybody comes to my Stitch With Me videos, and since that was live, but you know, I know you guys love to see this anyway, so. Hi, Virginia, welcome. So I'm probably, oh, tell Gemma I said hi. I know, this is just like the perfect combination, isn't it? So this is Darling's, or Mrs. Seda's Silk and Darling. Um, I am doing a bit of color controlling as much as possible as the colors flow so beautifully on that floss. This is a 36 count fabric. It is a mystery fabric that I got many moons ago, back in the 90s, and it's traveled with me many different places. And I am so, <laughs> exactly, Mrs. Sadist. <laughs> I don't think I ever, I told her that. I need to be sure and tell her that. Um, I know, everybody needs some darling. I should tell her she needs to be sure and have plenty of this in stock as well. Um, and there's somebody doing the linen and threads mystery stitch along. Who is that? Linda? Linda Fisatola, I think, um, is using darling on that. Yeah, just so pretty. I really wish I knew who this fabric dyer is. Although, um, I think I probably got it at one of the Stitches events um, in the Washington DC area. And um, it was probably just some small indie dyer there. So who knows? She, or, um, farewell to Anger. I didn't show this to you last week because there's not a whole lot to see. What I've been working on, there's a whole, <laughs> I know Mrs. Sadist, I do have to tell her that. Um, there's a whole bunch of, um, I think it's 939, 310, 823, and a huge swath coming in here. So I just spent some concentrated time this past week doing that chunk in there. I'm keeping this out next to my chair. It's, it does call to me periodically. Um, yeah, Mike started the Mrs. Sadist thing. Leave it to Mike to think of something like that. Believe me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm leaving farewell to anger out just so I can pick it up periodically and every once in a while I just get the urge, right? And this one too. Death by Cross Stitch did a little bit more on this. This is Mrs. Sadis's Sadus, as in silk in Spanish. <laughs> um in rouge this is her new red that will be out whenever she opens back up farewell to anger nara farewell to anger is not i mean there are parts of it that um are confetti but not anything like my fractal bookmark um 
this really does have pretty nice chunks of color. Mike is, um, Mike's actually in the shower, I think. <laughs> He's getting a shower early today. <laughs> yeah, so blame everything on Mike. If he's gonna be home, why not? I like that idea. Anyways, a little bit more done on Death by Cross Stitch. And you know, um, <laughs> oh, poor Mike. Um, I have to say, I really like the Death by, uh, this is going to shock so many of you. I really like the Death by Cross Stitch this, that have a lot of color to them. <laughs> There's somebody doing it that is doing like a different color for each little section. And every time they show that, I think, oh God, I gotta do it that way. But I do love working with one color and this rouge is just gorgeous. I think I need to find ways to add. And I don't know what color I would add, whether I'd get some kind of gold. I know, Jamie, wasn't it gorgeous? You know, some way to add the different colors, like people put little pops of color. I really don't know what I'd add to this. <laughs> Teal. <laughs> oh yeah, Carolyn, that's always a good idea. Why not? Anyway. Who knows? You never know what I'll do. Jane Marshall has been getting some love this week as well. So I got that band totally done. Again, this sits by my chair so that I can pick it up. I usually work on it at about an hour a day. This again is Mrs. Seda Silks, my own conversion. I'm loving this. I think this is just gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's such a pretty little piece. Above this is, I think, where the letters start, all the letters, so the rest of it shouldn't take a whole lot longer. You know, this down here was the heavy stitching part. Um, but yeah, that's coming along. I haven't picked up the armchair pin keep thing again in a while. Um, oh, I know, it came and it went pretty fast. Um, so the armchair pin keep keeps taking a back seat to Jane Marshall because the colors in this are so pretty. But I do want to get the pin keep done. You know, the problem is, so I have my little be well thing that I need to um, finish. I have the mini Quakers that I need to finish. I still have my little heel from the journey that I want to make into a needle book. And every weekend I say, I'm gonna get upstairs and sit down at that sewing machine. And every weekend, I'd rather just sit and stitch. Does anybody else have that problem? Thank you, Linda. I just, I think if I were more comfortable with my sewing machine, and of course the only way to get more comfortable is to actually sit and do it, right? But I don't feel like sitting and doing it because it feels like a big step to actually get up here, even though I know it's not. Making a pillow is simple. I know. That's my, my to show pal is empty. Oh no, I have one more thing. Um, while I'm getting this out, let me say, oh, thank you, Carolyn. Can I go to San Antonio? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't I wish, Carolyn. So did he get anything when you were when he was out shooting? My uncle used to go bow hunting up in Pennsylvania. Oh, well, see Suzanne, then I I can you can relate, right? It's hard to get up. Well, I know. It's hard to get up in my mind. Thanks, Jane. <laughs> hey, Melissa, what kind of cookies have you been making? Oh, target shooting, okay. Need to get out and get some venison. Do you have, I guess you have deer. There's deer every place, right? Okay, so the other night I was feeling pretty frustrated, pretty shut in. Um, oh, I wish I could have some chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I can make gluten-free. Um, and so I got out my knitting. This is a shawl that I started, I haven't the faintest idea how long ago. It is by Andrea Mowry called Bobbles, three different colors. So there's this variegated light blue and then brown. I'm calling it Beachy Bobbles. 
because it has a beachy feel. So I just needed some knitting. I needed the comfort and the flow and the feel of some knitting needles in my hands. So, isn't that pretty? It felt good to just sit and knit. And, you know, because I need knitted garments here. I know. There, how's that? I will be burning up, even though it's a cloudy day, I'm warm. <laughs> I will be burning up in no time. Um, so yeah, that was that was my work this week. The, the past couple days, I've really been concentrating mostly on my new design. I hope to have that out. Um, I should get finished stitching on it in the next day or two. After this, I hope to, um, no knitting mojo. Oh yeah, you know, it's really, it really is rather either cross stitch or knitting for me. Um, there isn't a whole lot of crossover, but the other night, I needed knitting and it helped, it really did. Um, I hope to have this design done and up in the store here by the week's end. Um, the next one I do may be Hawaiian themed. You know, I have all these design ideas bouncing around in my head and whichever one is making the most noise is the one that gets worked on next. So I have a couple Hawaiian ones that are at the forefront and one with an iris. We shall see. Um, stash. First, a gift. Teal. I have to tell you, we, we did put this in quarantine when we got it. I just got it out of quarantine. Quarantine is our spare bedroom, by the way. <laughs> Teal knew I needed a pick-me-up, and so she sent me, and of course the other, the, the other week I said at some point I was going to get both sunrise and sunset, and she sent me sunrise. Isn't it gorgeous, the colors on this? And I don't know whether you can tell. Now, I do have you turned around. You know, usually I use the back camera on my phone to record these because the resolution is higher and you can see things better, right? Doing these live videos, because I need to see the comments, I have the selfie camera on. So the resolution isn't quite as good. But I've never really, um, there is a picture of a man and woman in your house. Is that you and Mike? What do you mean, Linda? I'm sure it is me and Mike. <laughs> I can tell a story. Uh-oh, I missed that one, the story of baubles. Can you see that fabric, how there's like pinks and purples and some blues down here? Oh, the card. I'll, I'll show that in a second. Yes, it's perfect. <laughs> Mike loved it too. This is, uh, the fabric is um, fabric by Stephanie. I don't know whether you can still get this. It's called Brigide, B-R-I-G-I-D. I do, I do have some um, pale pink, like a blush pink color in cotton that I could use. Just gorgeous. Weak Style Works is what she uses for the floss. Beautiful. Teal, thank you. Um, okay, so the, the card. Let me, let me show you the pictures real quick, and then I'll read it. I will wake you up at 3 a.m., I will knock over your cups and shred your curtains. When I show any affection, I will dig my claws into your flesh. I will refuse to eat my food and then complain. I will murder small, innocent animals and bring you their fresh corpses. And the person says, kitty baby. Carolyn, what do you think? Is that us? <laughs> and in addition to this, you will go into the bathroom in the morning to clean the litter box and find some nice pile of poop on the floor because Lord forbid you should actually jump into the tub, into the litter box and use that. Yeah, that was our present this morning. I think our little princess kitty decided the litter boxes are, her slaves hadn't gotten up soon enough to clean the litter boxes. And she decided that they just were too dirty. So, yeah. Anyway, more stash. 
So you guys have seen this if you're on my Facebook group, Jan Hicks Creates Stunning Cross Stitch Designs. If you aren't there yet, please join me. We are having fantastic conversations. Um, checking up on you guys. I love it. I love seeing what you are doing. Um, but I did share this on there. So many of you have seen it already. Yeah, funny is one way to put it, Suzanne. <laughs> oh, jeez, deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ours is 6 a.m., Amy. Carolyn Manning Designs. Shooting star. What was I saying about colors? Look at that. This is um, kind of the sensation. <laughs> missing needles, that's right, Anne. I can count on you for missing needles. A snake in bed. Oh, Amy, that's just no. Oh, oh, that's just no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi, Diana. No. I'm, I'm doing that because, Jane, we are going to start a stitch along for this on Easter Sunday. So... I think it's like 26, it's not too many. 23, 26, somewhere around in there. D, woohoo! Welcome, D. Are you at work? I've been wondering about you if you're off. Let me know. Um, yeah, so not too many colors. Easter Sunday, um, Lisa Francis kind of is the, hi Lyosh, hi Charlene. Lisa Francis is kind of the start of this, um, the brainchild. Carolyn Manning does have both a designs Facebook group and a stitch along Facebook group. She's going to set up a, an album on, um, oh, it's just, it's all full stitches. It's just chunks of color. Melissa, it's not hard at all. Look at that. It's chunks, so you have a chunk of purple, a chunk of red, another chunk of purple. I mean, it really is just chunks that put together create this amazing design. Um, so Carolyn Manning is setting up an album so that people can put their um, progress pictures in it so it's kind of all together so people, when they come later to look at it, they can see them all together. Um, there is going to be a hashtag. Oh, see, I missed what Dee's response was. <laughs> if she repeats it, does that mean the secret is out? <laughs> um, Carolyn is having, it is full coverage, yeah. Now, I'm thinking, like, there's white in here that's B5200. Um, I may just leave the white fabric showing, but I don't know. I don't know whether that would look funny or not. Um, That's okay, I saw it, Anne. Um, Carolyn Manning is having a 20% off sale from, I think she says, like, from now until whenever. <laughs> um, yes, D, you should say yes. <laughs> um, snow, capital, all in caps, snow, 20 is the code for Carolyn's sale. So, I invite you to join us. Hashtag CM Shooting Star Sal. I'll, I'll, well, yeah, I'll put this below. That's the thing with the with the live the live videos. I can't put all of my like music and beginning photos and end photos in, but I can edit and put all the information that I usually do down in the description box. So I will be putting that there. Um, all right. Let me see if I can get to. Okay, here's my, let's see what happens. Here's my choices for the heaven and earth design sale. Click for larger image. How about that? Forgive the glare. Blinds downstairs are open, so there's some light. Beachcombers Delight, I think is what this is called. Oh, Beachcomber's Bounty. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those details. I would just be getting the, the regular, you know, not anything 
crazy supersized, isn't it, Carolyn? What do you think, Carolyn? <laughs> Disrespectful confetti. Yeah, I, I think I think you're right. Whoops. Oh, it logged me out. I was afraid of that. What do you mean my shock shopping cart is empty? No, it's not. Hold on. <laughs> but Carolyn, don't we do all the heaven and earth to together? Isn't that like a rule? We do have to do a, a Zoom thingy. Okay, let me get back to my shopping cart and show you the other one. <laughs> All right, don't look then, Teal. This is the other one. Oh, let me bring up the big picture. Hold on. Just do it. That's right. Look at that. Ah, there is no hiding the fact that I like a little color in my life, huh? I could have a wall, like other people have sampler walls. I would have a wall of just highly saturated, colorful things. <laughs> It's who I am. What can I say? All right. I think that's it. I did want to talk to you a little bit, though, about... I want to get your opinion. Have you guys heard of Patreon? There's a couple other people, floss tubers, that are doing it. Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? <gasps> Carolyn has. Yay. Yay. So, I am artsy, and I'm kind of artsy too. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, so, yes, exactly, Michelle's doing it, and we've had a discussion about it, and I actually started to set up an account yesterday, and I have all these ideas of ways that I can share with you. You know, for me, it would be a way to create even more of a community, basically. Um, a closer community. Zoom calls with a smaller group. Um, special designs like uh, like Michelle is doing. Um, Zoom calls showing you my design process. Zoom calls getting your input on a design. Um, you know, just, just smaller groups. I have just all kinds of ideas. But, so like I said, I, I set up an account yesterday. I haven't gone through setting up the tiers and all that because I started to think, is it really the best thing to do at this point in the world? Um, there's an awful lot of people out of work awful lot of people who things are going to be tight for. We do not know how long this is going to last. We don't know um, what we're going to look like coming out the other side. Mike and I are very, very blessed because his job is not going anywhere. Even on the days that he's not working, he's still getting his full salary. So even though, you know, things here can be tight, it's not like we have any money worries. So part of me was like, is this really the appropriate time? Well, Nicole, yeah, and that's what I'm thinking. I don't, I would like to create the community, start doing some of the Zoom calls. Um, I have to admit, part of me is thinking, well, if you start doing it now for free, are people gonna wanna pay for it? <laughs> um, it does cost, there are, there is a fee, um, a monthly fee when you start doing Zoom. Like if you do Zoom one-on-one, -on -one, it's free, unlimited time for free. Um, as you add on more people, there is monthly fees that get added to that. So that would help offset that. But anyways, I, I am, I'm seriously considering it. I haven't decided one way or the other what the best way is to go. I am seriously interested in your input. Um, they would, Jane, but should they? That's the question. You know, what's the best thing to do? 
Oh, are they really, Carolyn? I hadn't seen that. Are you using Zoom for work? Huh, that's good to know. And that's a great thing for them to be doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So how many people can you have on the free accounts, Carolyn? Oh, is it? Okay, I was not aware of that. Can you see the other pa people on the on the um, messenger chat though? I don't know about that. Oh, 100, wow, okay. I don't want that many. <laughs> I want a small group. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking like, you know, not just special designs, but um, you know, for anything that I design, I do create, I would have other things in it for my for my patrons um yeah that's just it i i want you know the interaction of face to face is is very cool and also right exactly jane so you can see each other and show each other what you're working on you know all that kind of stuff and i could even see um Right, that would be part of it, yeah, yeah. Special live ones just for, no, that's actually the man in the apartment down on the first floor likes to do woodworking. And so we get to hear his, you know, buzz saws and rotary cutters at all kinds of hours of the day. He does beautiful work, <laughs> but yeah, we get to enjoy the sound of the saws. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, I appreciate your input. I think that is it for today. Looking around, except the angel. I didn't get my angel out. You know, it's funny, when I do my regular videos, there's always something I've forgotten. And so, you know, I get up and get it and come back. And of course, I always edit all that out. Um, you get a sewing machine. <laughs> Um, do you have a neighbor that sews all the time? I guess if they're making masks, that's a good thing. But anyways, I, I edit out all kinds of stuff on my regular videos. Um, luckily, there hasn't been anything that I've needed to edit out. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that would, that would just be bad. Yeah, and I guess you're probably stuck with them for the near future. <laughs> no, Mike does not use a blow dryer. <laughs> oh, Jamie. All right, angel time. You are welcome, Amy. I'm glad you came. So let's see. Oh, I need my glasses for this. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Proverbs 4.23. When you love yourself, it's easy to love others. I just love her messages. They are appropriate every single week. So pretty. Teresa, I know you don't watch my videos, but if you do, thank you for these cards. When you love yourself, it's easy to love others. Oh, Sarah, too bad. Thank you, Sarah. I'm glad you came. No, D, I don't expect to. But D, I was thinking we need to do a Zoom of our group. Um, so I'll be getting in touch with you guys to see if we can do a Zoom. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you are taking care of yourself. Take care of others, take care of yourself, stay healthy, be cautious, be super careful out there because it's, we're, in, we're in for the long haul. We've gotta, we've gotta stay hunkered down. I, like I said, join me on, um, on Facebook. We are... <laughs> Everybody say bless you. <laughs> and by, there we go. Now the bless yous are coming in. Um, and Mike, by the way, is feeling fine. I mean, he still has a bit of a cough, but it's mostly gone. So everybody's saying bless you. Yay. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you out and about in social media. 
and Friday, a live stitch with me. I love you guys. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.